breaking welcome to today's news here is the headlines unam dekanu drops powerful statement overspending another years in dss core study unam dekanu drops powerful statement overspending another years in dss core study to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read today's news and please do let sure you like subscribe and share unam dikanu leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob has stated that spending another year in detention will not affect his resolve Kanu made the statement on Tuesday during an interaction with journalists following the resumption of his trial at the Federal High Court in Abuja. Expressing his dissatisfaction with the handling of his case, Kanu accused the Nigerian government of selectively implementing aspect of the Supreme Court's judgment regarding his detention. He emphasized that the ruling is being cherry-picked, with key components being ignored. His comment highlighted frustration with the failure of the court to fully respect the judgment and his request for bail, a matter that Kanu believes should have been addressed based on the Supreme Court's decision. Kanu also questioned the legality of proceeding with his trial, arguing that certain essential provisions of the Nigerian Constitution have been disregarded. He maintained that without adherence to those fundamental constitutional principles, the continuation of the trial is inappropriate. I am shocked that a high court refuses to implement the, rule, the full ruling of the Supreme Court. The selective enforcement of the judgment is troubling. The entire judgment should be enforced comprehensively, Kanu said. I am not opposed to the trial because, after all, I am innocent. The authorities have nothing against me, but a trial cannot proceed when critical sections of the Constitution and the Supreme Court judgment have been violated. Kanu, who has been in detention since his controversial re-arrest and extradition to Nigeria, emphasized that he remains committed to his cause despite his prolonged confinement. This is my fourth year in solitary confinement, he pointed out referring to the conditions of his detention. If I have survived four years, 
a fifth year won't kill me. Canus continued, detention has drawn widespread attention both locally and internationally. With calls from various groups and right organizations, demanding his release. His case remains a focal point in discussions surrounding the treatment of pro Biafra agitators and the Nigerian government's approach to handling separatist movement. Despite the legal battles and setbacks, Kani remains resolute, asserting that his fight for justice and self-determination will persist. Unam Dekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has stated that spending another year in detention will not affect his resolve. Kanu made the statement on Tuesday during an interaction with journalists following the resumption of his trial at the Federal High Court in Nabuja. Expressing his dissatisfaction with the handling of his case, Kano accused the Nigerian government of selectively implementing aspects of the Supreme Court judgment regarding his detention. He emphasized that the ruling is being cherry-picked, with key components being ignored. His comment highlighted frustration with the failure of the court to fully respect the judgment and his request for bail a matter that Kanu believes should be addressed based on the Supreme Court decision. Now to my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's